The most fun thing I do every day is holding my daily morning meetings. Um, my students are able to greet one another and they're able to share a part of um, something they did at home or some exciting event that's happened to them. And then my other students ask questions, um, open-ended questions to find out more about it. So this way we're all able to learn from each other and it kind of just builds this classroom community of, of respect and understanding for each other. I also share the news for the day and then do a little activity um, to get them started off on the right foot. Probably one of my most proudest moments, and it's kind of, I think, a collection of a couple of different kids, but working in self-contained, you often have kids that are nonverbal. And when you hear them talk for that first time, I mean, everybody in the room's crying. <laughs> um, I mean, I've heard a kid's first word be cookie, yellow. Um, one even just that I have now wasn't talking in a sentence. He can just about put a whole sentence together. The six adjectives that would describe my classroom, um, they all start with an E, I think. Engaging, just because with everything that I do and the students, I want everything to be engaging. I think my students would be very surprised because I'm such a planner. I have plans, backup plans, sometimes even alternate plans. Um, after dating my husband about a month, we became engaged. We just went with our feelings and gut, and it's been wonderful ever since. <laughs> entertaining, they make me laugh every single day. When I think about my favorite subject in school, um, thinking back to elementary and middle school level, I would have to say that math was probably my favorite. And I think it was just because um, it's kind of just so cut and dry. There's no gray area. Um, if I you know, worked on the strategies and knew the procedure, I could feel confident in my answer. Exciting. This year has been absolutely exciting um, with all the new kids and just everything going on. Uh, what gives me the most fulfillment of teaching is um, watching my students grow through the years. Um, I've been with a lot of my students this year for a couple of years, so I've been able to really watch them grow and, and learn and um, start achieving some of the goals that they've made. Energizing, um, which leads to the next one, exhausting. Um, they energize me, they get me excited, and they wear me out. My most embarrassing teaching moment, uh, I suppose, was a couple of years ago when we were doing an experiment with uh, iodine. And we were putting the iodine in cups to see for a reaction. And turns out all of the cups were made out of starch, so every single experiment turned purple. I'd have to say the last one is probably embarrassing embarrassing because I make a fool of myself all the time in front of them and I like to embarrass them just by just being silly and um, cracking jokes and things like that. My students would be surprised to know that um, I can drive a motorcycle and that I've had my own motorcycle, just sold it, um, and that I do lots of water skiing, a, a boat in the river all summer long along with um, just spending time with my family. and. Um, but I think the motorcycle, they would be very surprised that um, I have my helmet and the leather and all that going on for riding the motorcycle. The best part of my day is just watching these little ones make the progress that they're making. And um, this job can be very hard at times, but it's very rewarding just seeing their smiley faces and watching their accomplishments. Um, my students would be very surprised to know how many children I have taught over the years. Um, they always ask, five-year-olds ask, how old are you? And I say, over 20. And they go, are you 22? And they don't have a concept of numbers. And so when older children come in to give us a hug, they went, you taught them? I mean, they're just amazed of, that um, we've been doing this more than just today. If money was no object, I would love to have um, different enviroscapes and sandboxes so the students could see different human impacts um, hands-on in the environment through a modeling system. My proudest teaching moment, um, and there's a lot of them, a um, the parent was in the room watching and I had a child who said he didn't want to learn. And I said, you don't want to learn, go to the back of the room, go sit over there. You're not, this is what we learn. And I went on a, a speech about learning and the power of your mind, and I can't imagine why anybody wouldn't want to learn. And in the back of the room, he said, Mr. Van Dusen, I said, what? He said, I want to learn. 
I said, well, get over here. And uh, the parent afterwards said, that was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. And that was pretty cool. That sounds cool. It's the first day of school for the last 34 years. I don't sleep the night before. <laughs> I'm just like the kids. I'm so anxious and so nervous. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? I tend to over plan. We come in. We do like a greet and meet kind of thing. We just try to get to know the kids. Um, and just have a good time. My first day of school tradition is I wake up in the morning and I have a big breakfast and at least three cups of coffee. At least three cups of coffee. And I come into school and go through my everyday, everything that's on the board, my syllabus, all that, and then every year at the end of the day I go home and run five miles. If I was a superhero, I'd think I would be Elastic Girl, which is Mr. Incredible's wife, because she's flexible, she's strong, and she can turn herself into a parachute. The person who influenced me to become an educator is, um, I can think of lots of them, but Mrs. Hawkins is one that stands out. She was one of the first teachers to tell me that I was really good at something, and I thought that was, it made me feel special. And I thought I wanted to help other people feel that way when they're learning.